The world's appetite for wood is insatiable, but as the forests recede, a new kind of lumber is rising to take its place. Each year, global consumption soars past 141 billion cubic feet. This material is woven into our modern world, forming the floors, walls, and cabinets that define our living and working spaces. Yet to satisfy such an enormous demand, we can no longer rely on natural forests alone, prompting the industry to forge a more sustainable path. The solution is found in engineered panels, crafted from what was once considered scrap. Through a careful sequence of processing, resin blending, and hot pressing, discarded wood is completely transformed. It emerges as strong, uniform boards, shaped, and ready for the rigors of large-scale construction and manufacturing, proving that technical precision can turn waste into a valuable resource. What was once swept from the factory floor now holds the promise of a new forest. In the shadow of modern industry, a staggering volume of wood waste accumulates with every production cycle. Sawdust, shavings, and offcuts, once dismissed as refuse, were routinely burned or buried scarring the land and polluting the soil. But where some saw only debris, a new industry saw a resource waiting to be reborn. Each year, a global effort gathers more than 44 million short tons of this material from sawmills, processing plants, and furniture factories. At specialized centers, this raw feedstock undergoes a transformation, first screened to purge it of metals, plastics, and other impurities. It is then carefully dried to an optimal moisture level and classified by particle size, ensuring a consistent foundation for the strength and stability to come. The true impact of this model, however, is measured not in savings, but in survival. Without it, the industry would need to harvest an additional 6.4 billion cubic feet of round wood every year. This would mean the loss of over 2.5 million acres of forest, an expanse of more than 4,000 square miles, nearly the size of Connecticut, an ecological wound not easily healed. This is more than just managing leftovers. It is the engine of a circular economy, where waste itself becomes the bedrock of a new cycle of creation. After the raw material is sorted and meticulously cleaned of any non-wood debris, it is channeled into massive chipping systems. The objective here is precise and critical, to break down the wood into uniform flakes or fibers, creating the ideal structure for bonding with resin and forming a mechanically stable panel. The machinery varies with the final product, from drum and disc chippers to high-speed mills designed for particle board, OSB, or MDF. The incoming stream can be a miscellany of short logs, offcuts, and broken boards, so long as it has been purified. Inside, hardened alloy steel blades spin at speeds between 500 and 1,000 revolutions per minute. They relentlessly shear the material into standardized pieces most often less than 30 millimeters for conventional particle board. This is far more than simple mechanical breakdown. It is a delicate balancing act. Particles that are too large can create voids and weak bonds, while particles that are too fine absorb excess resin, driving up costs and compromising stability. To navigate this fine line, most systems employ vibrating screens immediately after the cutting chamber. This allows for instant reclassification. Any material that is too large or too small is sent back to be reprocessed, while only the perfectly sized particles are permitted to advance to the drying stage. From a forest's dampness to a furnace's breath, the wood fibers now face a trial by fire. This is where raw material is transformed into a predictable engineered element. Immediately after chipping, this stream of precisely sized particles is channeled into vast drying systems. Here, their moisture content is methodically reduced to an ideal state just before the binding resin is applied. This step is critical, directly influencing the bond quality, the panel's dimensional stability, and the durability of its final finish. The target is a specific moisture level, 
typically ranging between 2 and 8 percent. If too much water remains, it will interfere with the resin's adhesion, leading to weak bonds and causing blisters to form during hot pressing. Conversely, particles that are overly dry become brittle, which increases material waste and consumes more resin than necessary. This drying is accomplished using forced streams of hot air or within immense rotary drum dryers, where temperatures are carefully maintained between 300 and 570 degrees Fahrenheit. Inside a sealed chamber, the wood particles are carried along by the heated air, allowing moisture to evaporate quickly and evenly. Though the process lasts only a few minutes, it demands absolute control over heat and humidity. To verify uniformity, the cooled particles are then passed through a series of inline moisture meters. Any batch that falls outside the specified range is either rejected or rerouted for redrying, ensuring only perfectly conditioned material advances. Once dried, the wood fibers flow into screening systems that meticulously classify them according to size. The goal is to sort the material into uniform groups, each suited for the different structural layers of the panel, from the dense inner core to the smooth outer surface. The system relies on multiple vibrating decks, each equipped with meshes of varying sizes. Oversized particles are sifted out and sent back to the chippers for further reduction. Meanwhile, particles that are too fine, little more than wood dust, are removed from the flow as they absorb excessive amounts of resin and can weaken the board's strength. The qualified material is then divided into two main fractions, fine particles for the surface layers and larger particles for the core. By precisely controlling particle size at this stage, manufacturers can formulate a more stable resin mix, reduce material waste, and enhance bonding performance, ultimately ensuring the mechanical integrity of the finished panel. A fine chemical mist descends, preparing to transform a chaotic cloud of wood into a single unified mass. Once sorted by size, the particles are conveyed into sealed mixing chambers, where they tumble through a continuous coating of adhesive resin. High-pressure nozzles atomize the most common binder, urea formaldehyde, into a delicate spray, ensuring every fragment is evenly coated without forming clumps. This crucial ratio is meticulously controlled, held between 8 and 12% of the wood's dry weight. For specialized applications, additives are also introduced, engineered to enhance moisture resistance, retard fire, or protect against fungal decay. From the mixers, this resin-infused material flows onto a moving belt. It is methodically spread into multiple layers with a dense, coarse core sandwiched between two finer surface layers. Automated systems govern the flow rate and density, guaranteeing a uniform distribution of both thickness and weight across the entire mat. The newly formed mat then glides into a pre-press system, where hydraulic rollers apply gentle pressure at ambient temperature. This initial compression serves to lightly compact the material, flatten its surface, and purge the majority of trapped air from within. It also encourages the first tentative bonds to form, creating a more uniform structure before it faces the extreme heat and pressure to come. While the force applied here is far less than in the final press, it is just enough to temporarily lock the fragile structure in place. This crucial step prevents the layers from shifting during their journey into the hot press ultimately improving the dimensional stability of the finished panel. A wave of heat, a crushing force, and in minutes, a new form emerges. From the pre-press, the raw mat glides directly into the heart of the operation, the hot press. This is the critical stage where the panel's fundamental strength and structural integrity are forged. Here, intense heat and immense pressure work in tandem, compacting the wood fibers while activating the resin's curing process. Temperatures inside fluctuate between 280 and 430 degrees Fahrenheit, tailored to the board's specific type and thickness. Simultaneously, pressures can climb as high as 600 pounds per square inch. 
In a cycle lasting just two to six minutes, the liquid resin transforms into a solid, creating a powerful matrix that permanently locks the compressed wood particles together. The entire operation is governed by an automated system, with sensors constantly monitoring temperature, pressure, thickness, and speed. This meticulous control ensures every board emerges with uniform hardness, perfect flatness, and unwavering stability. As it exits the intense heat, the panel is still intentionally oversized, a deliberate measure to guarantee complete coverage during compression. Before it can cool, the board is guided through automated trimming systems that shear away unstable edges and standardize its size. High-speed sliding blades, guided by pre-programmed coordinates, execute each cut with surgical precision. The panels might be sized to standard 4 by 8 foot formats or tailored into larger sheets for storage and smaller pieces destined for furniture manufacturing. This trimming also removes the outer fringes, which may have experienced uneven compression, minimizing the risk of defects appearing in the final finishing stages. A river of fire flows within, yet its form must be frozen into perfect stillness. Once trimmed to their final dimensions, the panels harbor an intense heat deep within their core. This next phase is not merely about bringing the temperature down, it is a delicate procedure of structural stabilization, designed to release internal stresses and permanently lock in the board's durability. Inside modern facilities across America and Europe, this is achieved with forced air cooling systems. Massive rotary fans cradle and turn each panel, which still retains its residual heat. A powerful choreographed blast of cold air is driven from multiple directions, ensuring it circulates evenly over every inch of the surface. Simultaneously, automated sensors carefully regulate the air pressure and temperature, guaranteeing a uniform cooling rate between the hot core and the cooling outer layers. Even the slightest imbalance here can introduce uneven shrinkage, creating permanent warping that no later process can fix. To enhance efficiency while preserving surface stability, certain American plants utilize advanced dual-direction cooling units. The intense, chilling stream of air they produce is the ideal environment for the material to rapidly shed its heat without compromising its internal structure. By the time a panel emerges from the cooling unit, it has achieved total stability and is prepared for the final finishing steps. Moving from the cooling line, the boards are fed directly into the sanding system, a series of machines whose simple appearance belies their role as the true artisans of this process. The raw, textured surface of each board glides through a sequence of high-precision sanding rollers, spinning continuously under meticulously controlled pressure. With every pass, the outermost wood fibers are methodically stripped away to reveal a smooth, uniform finish. Working in concert below the line, high-speed dust extraction systems pull away the fine particles generated by the sanding. This crucial step prevents heat from building up and keeps loose debris from scratching the newly perfected surface. The sanding heads are engineered to automatically adjust to the exact thickness of each board, correcting even the most minute deviations remaining from previous stages. But this is more than just a smoothing operation. It is essential for ensuring the final coating will adhere properly. If this surface is not prepared to an exacting standard, the melamine layer applied later could peel, streak, or crack, rendering an otherwise perfect panel completely useless. What appears flawless can hide a fatal weakness. It is a reality that drives the final, most critical stages of production, where a single oversight can unravel an entire supply chain. Any flaw, whether on the surface or buried deep within the core, can render a finished panel useless. This is why quality inspection operates with the highest precision and under the strictest standards. Laser systems meticulously scan each panel, mapping its surface for uniformity and searching for micro-cracks that would otherwise escape the human eye. From there, 
Random samples are pulled for a battery of mechanical trials. These tests simulate the real-world stresses of bending, compression, and torsion that a board will face over its lifetime. Sensitive equipment records each deformation in real time, giving engineers crucial data on its resistance to warping, its tensile strength, and the integrity of the bond between its layers. These data points are not only vital for immediate quality control, but also enable the factory to fine-tune the entire process if any deviations begin to appear. The outcome is a product that arrives in the hands of consumers with optimal stability, consistent in appearance, and built for durability through years of everyday use. Once certified, each panel is transferred to automated packaging systems. Here, robotic arms rotate, grip, and stack the boards onto pallets in a pre-programmed order, an arrangement that minimizes any risk of shifting during transport. A layer of polyethylene shrink film is then tightly wrapped around the entire load, securing it while protecting it from moisture and dust. In many large-scale factories, robots also apply barcodes to each batch, linking production data directly with warehouse and logistics systems. After packaging, forklifts move the pallets into waiting shipping containers, the starting point of a global distribution journey. Yet even within this optimized process, challenges remain. Plastic shrink films are notoriously difficult to recycle, and distant markets often require additional shockproof wrapping, which increases packaging waste significantly. In response, some manufacturers in the United States and Europe are now testing fiber-based paper wraps and biodegradable films, aiming to reduce their environmental impact while maintaining the same level of protection during storage and long-haul transport. It begins as splintered waste, yet ends as the foundation of our modern world. From the initial sorting and chipping of raw timber to the final stages of drying and pressing, the entire transformation is a cascade of meticulously controlled operations. This industrial ballet is governed by a network of real-time sensors and advanced automation, ensuring precision at every turn. In this intricate system, fragments of wood that were once discarded are given new purpose. These remnants are meticulously restructured, reborn as a material defined by its remarkable strength and geometric stability. This makes it an indispensable component in construction, furniture design, and countless large-scale manufacturing applications. But the significance of particle board extends beyond its physical form. It serves as a tangible testament to a new philosophy of resourcefulness, one where value is not extracted from the earth, but ingeniously created by reorganizing what we already possess. Behind each finished panel, however, lies a complex industrial ecosystem still grappling with its own evolution. The ongoing pursuit of greater energy conservation, reduced emissions, and enhanced resin technologies marks the path forward, inching the industry ever closer to a truly closed-loop system.